everyone, today I'm going to show you a delicious breakfast, lunch, brunch, or dinner, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, a really good quiche that I'm going to make for you. So what we have in here are just four eggs that we're just whisking all together. To those four eggs, we are going to add, I don't want to spill it anywhere, half a cup cream, or half and half, or just whole milk, whatever you want. But the cream gives it a really good richness. Alright, now to that we're going to add some chopped onion that I just chopped up pretty finely. About a half of a small onion. Put that in there. And also, what I like to put in my quiche, but you don't have to do this, you can leave this out or you can add whatever you want. I've seen broccoli, I've seen asparagus, whatever you want. So what we have here is some spinach. I'm just going to chop it up. This is some fresh spinach. If you have uh, frozen spinach, you can use that as well. But make sure that you uh, defrost it and squeeze out all the extra liquid. So really get this nice and fine in there. It'll cook down when it's in there, but it has a lot of volume to it. Perfect. So we're going to add... I'm going to say about a half a cup. It might look more than a half a cup, but when it's really pushed down, it's about a half a cup. Let's go ahead and mix that all in. It looks like that. All right, so now that we have all of our chopped vegetables up, we are going to put this put a small pan on. We're going to chop up some pancetta, which really makes it, in my opinion. So what I have here is a quarter pound of pancetta. I have the dialy, dialy, the deli sliced it pretty thick. I'll show you. Sliced pretty thick, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna dice it up nice and bite size. Just like this. All right, so we're just cutting up the last little piece here. We just have a nice bite sized chunk, so we're gonna go ahead and put them on our pan. Just gonna let them just cook a little bit, just cook through. Perfect. So now we are going to put some cheese in. We have some Parmesan here that we're just going to freshly grate in here. About, let's see, we'll eyeball it. About a quarter cup of this. Look how good that looks. It looks amazing. And then we have some fresh cheddar cheese that we're not grating, but we're putting it in anyways. This is going to be packed with flavor. It's really good. Alright. Just like this. Alright, so that's all done right there. And this is starting to cook up. We don't want it too, too crispy. Just like that. So while that is going, let's go ahead and move this and we are going to roll out our puff pastry. Alright, so we are, just have some puff pastry here that we just defrosted a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the freezer for another day. Like, so now we're gonna roll this baby out with a little bit of let me just go ahead and turn that off. A little bit of all-purpose flour in the bottom. Don't want it to stick. Let's go ahead. Let's put it on the counter just like this. Open this up. Now it's a little bit thicker than we want. So what we're gonna do. I know. I don't have a rolling pen. So I'm using a wine bottle. So you just work with what you got. I'm just going to roll this out a bit. Just like that. Perfect. So now we have a pie, plan, pie pan. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put it in there. Perfect. Make sure it's all on the bottom. We're going to trim the sides if you need to. Perfect. Get a knife. Just trim it up. All right, so we just put it in here and trimmed it up a little bit. So now, with some aluminum foil, we're going to put it in here and we're going to blind bake it. Just so the bottom crust doesn't get soggy when we put that in. Put a smaller pan in there. I'm going to put this in the oven, 375, for just a couple of minutes, just until it gets a little bit brown. See you back in a little bit. All right, so it's only been about 10 minutes, and we want it just, we don't want it brown because it's going to brown in the oven when we cook. Go ahead and take this out. As 
you can see it's really puffed up a bit. Ooh, look how puffy that is. All right, so that looks good. So now we are gonna finish adding up the rest of our stuff in there. The slotted spoon, we're gonna go ahead and take out this pancetta. You don't wanna get all that grease in there. It's gonna all that really good flavor. This is nice and salty and delicious. Mm -hmm. Last little bit. All right, perfect. And also, we have to season it up just a little bit. Let's put some salt. Not too much because there's the pinchetta is really salty. Some pepper and some garlic powder because we don't want fresh ooh, garlic in there. But we want some of the garlic flavor. Let's go ahead and mix this all around. Beautiful. So now we're just going to add this to our shell. It can still be hot, it's fine. So it's going right back in the oven. Fill this baby up. Look how good that looks already. Right. And back in the oven. Just want to make sure everything's down there. The egg, so it'll cook evenly. So let's put it back in the oven, 375. You've got to open it up. Looks good. Looks delicious. See you back here in a little bit. All right. So this has been in here for about 20 minutes. Depending on your oven, it might take longer, might take less. So you just need to watch it. Look how good that looks. Looks perfect. Look at that. A delicious quiche for great for a breakfast or a brunch or a lunch. I hope you like it.